I've seen this person grow her business from zero, starting from zero when she joined us and she's really, really a powerhouse. So she has gone through a whole lot of um, adversity and challenges. So sometimes this is where you see when people make a decision and they know what they really want, you cannot stop them. You can only delay them in getting what they want, but you will never ever stop a human being when they have made a decision and a commitment to get what they really want uh, in life. This lady, she's one of those people who can really, really show you that, hey, once somebody has made a, a decision and they are focused to achieve what they want, they will do whatever it takes. So most of the time when I see people saying they wanna do this business, and when, you, when I see the things that they do, you, you, you really see their level of commitment. You can also see how big their dreams are. This lady she has shown me that, you know what, there is nothing that can stop a human being in achieving what they want. You can only delay them if you stand in their way. I'm not going to share much of her story because I don't want to take out the whole thunder out of the whole story. I wanted to give out her own story in her own way, in her own context, so that you guys you get it um, uh, nice and properly uh, from her. Ladies and gentlemen, I just want you to welcome our director, Keletso Tutkev, all the way from Botswana. Keletso, can you hear me, my dear? I can hear you, coach. Good morning. Okay, brilliant. So guys, uh, what Kelly is going to do, she's not going to put on her video because uh, she's got some challenges on the network and everything. So at least you just talk to you guys uh, straight uh, like this. So I hope you're going to enjoy, pay attention, have your notebooks ready, and I know you're going to have a nice, nice uh, thrilling moment. Go ahead, my dear. Thank you very much, Coach Henry. Thank you, Thank you very much um, for this platform that um, you have given us, that you have created for all of us, the Millionaire School. Thank you for your, for your heart, your kind heart, for taking time from your busy schedule to develop millionaires. Um, hello, everyone. Hello, millionaires, game changers, IMDs, influencers, powerhouses. Um, our topic for today is creating a powerful you, the authentic you. Now, I want you to understand that um, this platform that our coach has given us, is meant to develop you. It's meant to bring out the best out of you. And it's, it, it's important or imperative that you use it. Um, this company, World Ventures, is one of the best companies when it comes to personal development. We have world-class trainings in the business and uh, make sure that as you build your business, you don't miss trainings. From the day I enrolled, I've never missed trainings. The only training that I missed was a momentum that was in February. Uh, I missed it because of uh, circumstances that were beyond me, but I have decided to be IMD and for you to get that you cannot afford to miss training. Personal development is at the core of your being and our company World Ventures makes sure that it develops us in business and personally. So please, please make sure that you use this platform, make sure that you go through your, 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 your modules, your daily modules, you take time and um, meditate on what you have learned. We had a very, very powerful um, teaching yesterday by MD Ziggy, the Tigress IMD. It was very, very powerful. And most of you who were able to log in uh, can, can share or even attest to what I'm saying. Now, who is Keletsu? Let me give you a brief um, background of Keletsu. I'm a director in the business, a God-fearing Motswana woman. I hold a BA in Humanities and a postgraduate diploma in uh, education. I got married to my childhood sweetheart at a very young age, 
or tender age of 23, and we are blessed with four handsome boys. I was a secondary school teacher. I quit in 2016 to go into business full time. And some of the businesses that I run, um, I, do, I do real estate, I'm into hospitality, fuel retail, and I run a preschool. Uh, and of course, my online business, World Ventures. Now, who is Gilead? Who is Gilead? Before, before I share with you who is Gilead, or the real me, the authentic me, allow me to share with you uh, my journey in World Ventures. I saw this concept uh, back in 2018, October. Um, remember, I said I quit my job in 2016. When I quit my job in 2016, it was, it was, it was because of the personal development that I enrolled back then. Called the first meeting. What was that? Someone, I'm um, mute your mic, please. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Uh, this course. Uh, Nitro Spark helped a lot in bringing out who I am, in creating a powerful me. It helped me go deep within me and search the authentic me. So after, um, after I think module one or two, I realized that I'm in a wrong place. I realized that my job as a teacher was not going to take me to where I want to be. It was driving me to the exact opposite direction of where I wanted to be. So I quit my job simply because of that. It did not bring out the best in me. And I knew that staying as a teacher was not going to take me anywhere near my dreams. So I quit and um, started running my businesses, but something within me was still um, missing. So I saw this concept in 2018. I was invited by a friend just like you. And um, when I saw it, I was at a point in my life where I felt uh, I'm not complete. I was anxious. I needed more out of life. I was restless. I felt trapped, unfulfilled. You know, my comfort zone was no longer comfortable. I wanted more out of life. The authentic elites so or the real me was not fulfilled. And I wanted uh, not only financial freedom, but I wanted something, something that made my heart sing. I knew it was time for the bud to, to blossom. I wanted something that would bring out the Galezo. So when I saw this opportunity, for me, it was a complete package. Uh, it gave me an opportunity to start my business and align my calling and purpose. Uh, it gave me a platform to speak and share and transform life. It just completed me. I was sold out. I was all in and started waking from the, the first night that I enrolled. I enrolled um, a lot of new members even way before I could understand what the concept was all about. I am D. Tami and um, MD Ike helped me a lot in achieving, um, in achieving what I wanted and training me in business. They helped me achieve director in only two months of my enrollment. The first month in my network marketing business, I earned a lot more than I, I, I end as a teacher. The trainings, I attended trainings and the trainings brought out every time, every training that I attended, a new version of Gelozo was unleashed. I met the success and the hard work. Arose opposition from within. 
my partner was completely, completely against me building this business, and yet results were evident. I was up for a fierce opposition that I had to choose between running my business or my marriage of 17 years. I saw this as a fight, not against World Ventures, but the person that I'm becoming. Remember, I said I did a personal development that helped me have clarity on who I am, my visions, my values, my purpose, my, my, call, my calling. So from where I stood, I knew exactly what to do. I couldn't allow anything or anyone to stand in the way of my dreams. So guess what? I chose me. I chose to pursue my calling in essence and to do something that fulfilled me. It was not easy, but some, some decisions have to be made. When it's time for the bud to blossom, you can't contain it. I chose myself. I packed my suitcase. I left my 17 year old marriage, not because I didn't like it, but because I could not uh, leave behind or leave behind or set aside the Keletso that I've discovered. Like a young girl fresh from college, I moved to my city of birth, rented a house, an empty house. But inside, I knew I was a powerhouse. The house was empty, but I was full. I was complete, I was enough, and I knew I carried a very, very big vision of my life. The process of divorce and everything that came with it weighed down on me. I did less and less presentations, spent most of my time locked in the house. I disconnected from the system and my leaders. I lost touch, but only for a while. I kept on checking the, the, the WhatsApp groups and so forth. And when I saw the millionaire school, I enrolled as a student. Um, not necessarily, I never thought I would participate. It was more of making, making myself present to impress my leaders. I mean, I, as I engaged in the, in the modules and the school, my spark was ignited. I got a wake up call. Right now, I'm focused. I give thanks to God and Coach Henry for starting this uh, program. It helped me rediscover myself. A module two, the one that we are doing today, is creating a powerful you. That clicked uh, on something within me. I knew Keletso had to rise and do something, take a business to another level. I have a very big, big dream that requires the whole of me and I'm up for that challenge. Now Keletso is back on her feet and ready to grind. Our topic of today, like I said, is creating a powerful you. And before I can engage you, we're going to have a um, a session that you're also going to have an opportunity to say something. Before I engage you, I'm going to tell you who Keletso is, the authentic Keletso. I'm a millionaire in the making, blessed to be a blessing to others. Like Joseph in the Bible, I'm God's wealth distributor. I'm a teacher and, and a motivational speaker who effortlessly impacts the world. Keleto is a transformational leader and an influencer, a trainer of trainers with a mission to develop entrepreneurs. I'm a seasoned author of best-selling books that has transformed millions of lives. In a nutshell, I'm called to help people discover and pursue their God-ordained purpose. 
Now, my question to you this morning is, who are you? Who are you? Have you ever taken time to come face to face with the real you? Do you know who you are? Have you tried to bring out something from within you and understand who you are? Matt Morris in that, the module that we are covering says, the power, you, you have the power to define the person that you want to become. Let me bring out something that will shake you a bit. Um, a picture of IMD, Tami. He shared it on social media last week. And this picture gave me a wake up call. Do you see that? That's our IMD Tami back in 2000 and a picture of him this year. In 2000, he wasn't an IMD. I want you to closely look at that picture. Look at him, his background. And in 2000 and the one in 2020. I'm going to give you um, time to share. I'm going to ask two or three people to share. Now, my question is, from the two pictures, we see a very, very a massive transformation, a great transformation of our leader. Now, I want you to imagine yourself as this man in the picture. I don't want you to, I don't want you to see Tammy. I want you to see yourself. See yourself in that picture in 2000 and see yourself in the next picture in 2020. I'm going to ask a, one or two, no, two or three people to tell me or to define themselves through that picture. But talking about what you see there, define yourself, tell me who you are, who are you according to that picture. If you want to speak, can you raise your hand? Define yourself through that picture. Define who you are through that picture. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? My network is in. Hello? Okay. Yes, we can hear you. Um, Helen has got, uh, you've unmuted yourself. You can go ahead, Helen. Hello? Okay. Hello, Keleto. Hello, Helen. Go ahead, uh, Helen, we can hear you. Hello, Keleto. Hello, Helen, how are you? Hi, I can hear how are you? I'm happy fine. Happy to connect to everybody. Yeah. Yeah, happy to connect, happy to ultimately connect today. <laughs> okay, yeah. Helen. I, I see myself as the presidential owner uh, in the next, yeah. Thank you. Um, uh, Helen, it's break. Is, it, is it is it only me, or is it is it uh, Helen's? If you can switch off your 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 video, and uh, you'll be able to. I think your network is a bit bad. If you can switch off your video, and it will enable you to to connect uh, properly. Okay. Okay. Let me just stop your video. Okay. Yes. The next one. Thank you, Helen. Like, like that? Yes, yeah. Maybe you can go ahead oh, and say what, on, Helen. You can go ahead and say what you wanted to say. We didn't get what you, what you said. Hello. Okay. In the interest of uh, time, I just, yeah, I just wanted to say I'm happy to finally have connected to, to, to this uh, Zoom workshop because yesterday I couldn't manage it at all. Um, I just want to say I visualize myself as a multi-residential owner. And um, I, I just visualize myself um, just having 
the current job that I'm doing right now. I'm a teacher and I just want to the, the manage the, 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 the real estate, you know, properties. Okay. Okay, thank Hello. you. Hello. Yeah, thank you so much, uh, Helen. Thank you, Helen. Can we have another volunteer? Okay. Okay. Hello. Okay, let's see if uh, there's somebody else who wanna quickly share. Uh, if you can just raise up your hand or unmute your your mic, this is an opportunity for you to to say something. The whole idea is when you share something, that's how transformation uh, uh, happens in you when you start reflecting about yourself as well. Anyone, anyone would like to share? Yes. Tell us who they are. Good, base, good morning, base. everyone. I want you to yes. base on the picture that we have in the screen. Yes. Hmm. Um, this is Ike, Ike from Botswana. Um, I actually see myself here um, hmm. as a millionaire and someone who lives her life at her own terms. Uh, I see myself um, a great leader here because I'm actually leading my life uh, to that level that I want it to be. And I'm also a property owner from this uh, And um, wow, I'm a happy person. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, Ike. Can we have the last person? Can Iris, I see Iris. And unmute yourself, Iris. Hello, can you hear me? I can hear you. Yes, I'm looking at the two pictures. Wow. Uh, mm. This gentleman has really gone through a big transformation. Indeed. If, if I look at the background there, I think he, he, he was a lodger who had one room to himself. Mm. Uh, but when I look at myself, and I looked at 20, year 2000 and then year 2020, when he is really a big somebody, a millionaire with perhaps uh, those cars to himself, I am neither of the two. So I placed myself in between. I said, uh -huh. I, 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 I am not in the 2000, but maybe I would be too much if I said I'm somewhere around 2010. Mm. So I said, why don't I say perhaps I am just in 2005, where I am able to break even, to have food on the table, afford a, what I would call a comfortable life when I haven't seen comfortable life. I, mm. I, I look at myself now and say, no, I'm not comfortable at all. Mm. So I am in between and uh, only three quarters away from his 2020. I'm somewhere wow. where he, he might have been in 2005 mm. where he would say, ah, okay, I can afford a good breakfast, but mm. I can't afford to go on holiday now. So yeah. I need to, 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 to work hard a lot um, mm. to, to get myself into where he is now at 2020. Thank mm. you. Wow, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm going to allow two more people. I see two hands are raised up. Um, exactly like she did. I want you to talk about the picture in front of you. Don't define yourself yet. Define yourself in light of the picture that you see in front of you. Hey, um, Nesta, is your Nesta? 
This is your chance. Hello, Nesta. Okay. Hello. How are you? Thank you very much for the opportunity. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you clearly. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Yes, loud and clear. Hello, Nesta. It's gone. Okay. So, yeah. Thanks. Uh, thanks very much for the opportunity. You are welcome. The stage is yours, Nesta. Hello. Hello, let me take another one. Um, I see Galaxy, the Galaxy page. All right. Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, okay. Yes, I can hear you. Okay. I feel very glad to be on this room. My point is yeah. just uh, the, um, the, uh, the, the uh, focus on the presence. Mm. Uh, that is my, my point. That is my point on the picture that I can see there. Mm -hmm. uh, don't focus on the past, uh, but focus on the presence. Mm. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Next one. Just unmute yourself. Next one. Nyati. Unmute yourself, Nyati. Nonzitli. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. In relation to the picture. I don't know if you can hear me. I can hear you, but there is an interference. Yeah, I can hear you. Hello? Loud okay. and clear. Um, I, was saying, I was saying in relation to the picture, I can say I am close to 2000, where mm -hmm. I am a student who is trying to break through and make ends meet as I'm about to graduate and taking care of the family as it will be what's expected of me. So I am slowly working to become a better me, a better person that will get to 2020. Mm. Wow. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. We are getting there. We are getting there. I'm going to take the last one. The last one. I see there's a galaxy. Um, who is using Galaxy 80? Yeah, go ahead. Galaxy 80 is Esther yeah. Kasu. Esther Kasu. All right, you guys. Um, I'm good, and how are you? Share with, share with us in relation to the picture that you see on the screen, Esther. Okay, okay. from the picture that I could see here, what I need, uh, in 2000 to 2020. I'll say the 2001 is where I, I, I didn't any, anything in hand to make or to do what I want to do for myself, but only to take it the way it is. Mm. And when it gets to 2020, mm. now is where you have all, that, all the tools at your disposal to be a millionaire mm. that you wanted to be to attain all yeah. that you wanted to attain. When you were in uh, yeah. 2000, you had dreams that you wanted to achieve yeah. uh, in the near future. Yeah. And now it's time for us to achieve everything that uh, we want to achieve with every, every yeah. tool that you have been given at our disposal to attain yeah. that. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you. Galaxy A30. I thought that was Esther. Hello. Okay, I'll give yeah. you. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Yeah. Hello. I can Hello. hear you. Hello. Yeah. You are the last. That was, yeah. That okay. was me. She, she just said Hello? this. That, Hello? That was, that was me. Oh, it was Esther. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, millionaires.
for that. Yes, this picture, if you closely look at it, it will give you a wake up call. You see a young man in 2000 uh, who, has, uh, who didn't own much, lives in a shack. Uh, you can see his, uh, how, how he is dressed, his, 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 um, his background to, to, to see more on his life. But I believe deep down he had a dream, like one of the participants say, he had a dream of becoming what he became in 2020. It was within. And through hard work, persistence, uh, and self-development, there is no way, no way you can get to 2020 without self-development. From the stories that he shares, that time he shares all the time, he says he has never, he has never ever missed training since he joined World Ventures. He had dreams when he was still living in that, uh, in that shack. And I believe, had he told people around him what he wanted to be in 2020, they wouldn't have believed him. But because of the perseverance, because he was built up within, because he, knew, he had a dream and he knew exactly what he wanted to be, because he was more powerful inside than outside, that is why he was able to be who we see in 2020. Now, for you to be able to get to where you want, you have to be built in from within. Now, before we, we get into how you create, how you create a powerful you, I'm sure most of you have gone through the module and have seen the questions that Matt, Matt Morris has given us uh, that help us to create a, a powerful you. Um, let me take a few minutes and explain to you why it is important to create a powerful you. Why do you need to build yourself? Why do you need to build yourself? And don't forget this. The power to define you lies within you. I want you to remember this throughout uh, our lesson. The power to define you lies within you. Why is it important to create a powerful you? One, when you know who you are, you will not allow anyone to hold a pen and write the story of your life. You will not give the pen to anyone to write a story about you. You will, write, you will hold the pen yourself and write the story of your life. You will not allow circumstances to define you or change the course of your life. If you know who you are and where you are going, you will not allow any circumstance to define you and change you where you are. When we are building business, any, any business, even the network business that we are building, there are different seasons that our business will go through. And most people, lose focus when their business is in winter, when their business go down. And only those that have built a powerful uh, and authentic self within them are able to stand through the seasons of business. Now, if you are not built up from within you, you will not be able to stand uh, circumstances. You will fall, you know, you know in winter, leaves fall off. So if you are not built from within, you will fall off like leaves in winter. But only those who know themselves will go through. You will build your business against all odds. You will not hop from one network business to the other. Because you know what? When you, when you quit World Ventures at a um, three-star rep and you go to another business, do you know that uh, the fact that you failed here, the fact that you, you failed to develop a powerful you, the fact that you are not focused and you don't know what you want, you will still carry that with you. The failure in you will still be in another business. So you'll see yourself hoping from one network business to another. So it's about focus, it's about knowing who you are, it's about building that which you decided to build. When you enrolled in your network business, when you enrolled in this business, you had a dream 
you knew exactly what you wanted to achieve. Now, when you are built in within, the only way that you will do or the only way you will go is up and never down or never quit on your dreams. You will stand by the decision that you have made. And then again, when you are building this business, there are different, you'll be meeting a lot of people. Some are more intelligent uh, than you. Some are more confident than you. Now, if you are not built up from within, you know, at one point you will find that you've even lost control of your presentation. To that one particular person in the presentation who thinks they're more confident and more intelligent like you. But when you are built up from within, you'll be able to take control of uh, the presentation. You'll be able to you'll be able to cut out or remove those people that are trying to mess up your presentation. You'll be able to stand for what you believe in. Because you know what, in World Ventures, we have a deal. We have a deal. And when we take it out to the people, we are, we are actually helping them transform their lives. We have something that they need. They may not know it, but we have something that they need. Now, when you know yourself, and you have confidence in the product that you are selling. You go out. You, even, even when someone says no to you, and no will not shake you because you know yourself and you understand your product. So knowledge of self and building a powerful you create you to build a business that is not shaken by anyone. You will not allow critical and negative people to push their agenda on you. When you are a weakling, when, when you haven't created the power in you, it will be easy. People, most of the time, people that are critical and negative are very abosi, allow me to use that word, and can push you around if you don't understand yourself. So it's important to understand yourself and know who you are so that you cannot allow anyone to push that agenda on you. Your goals and core belief, beliefs will not be dictated by those that you associate with. You know exactly what you want, where you want to go, what you believe in, your values. And no one, no one will dictate uh, to you what, what you have to do. You'll not, like, like, like I said, you'll not fall off. You build, you'll build a very, very strong business uh, through the seasons of life. Now, getting back to our topic, how do you create a powerful you? How do you now create a powerful you? You need to understand that this is a process and cannot be done in one lesson. We are going to try, but it cannot be done in one lesson. In fact, it's a lifelong process of growth and self-discovery. Every level that you reach in your business or in your life, Will, requ will require you to redefine yourself or you will need to redefine yourself. When you are a two-star rep or a three-star rep, when you move on to the level of director, you have to redefine yourself. You have to shift and redefine yourself because every level requires a different version of you. You cannot take a, the you that was an, uh, as, as a three-star rep and try to apply it when you get to another level, you will fail. As you grow through the levels, that is why, that is why you have to attend trainings. That is why our company makes sure that it provides us with trainings every now and then, because they know that every level that you achieve requires a different version of you. If you build this business, and you are not co co committed to um, personal development or you don't uh, commit to growing yourself, you will, you will be a lead on your business. You, will be, you know what a lead does? It sits on a pot. It sits on something and covers it up. So if, as a leader, if you are not developed, if you don't take time to develop a you, you'll be a lead over your team. 
you'll be a lead over your team and your team will not grow. Your team will not go anywhere. So that is why it is important to invest in your personal development. Right now, currently, uh, Sachin has um, published his ebook uh, that you need, you need to buy and learn. We know that uh, he's a quadruple IMD. He has done this so many times. And going through his book, you'll be able to learn a lot of nudges that, that will take you to another level. So it is not about, it is not about you spending money on the business. It is about you developing yourself. So this is what you, you have to think of. This is what you have to keep in mind when it comes to creating a powerful you. Matt Marys, remember I said throughout this uh, lesson, I want you to remember that all the power to define yourself lies within you. Uh, have you ever taken time to just sit, find a quiet place, sit and listen to yourself? Because within you, there is a power within you. There is, there is, there is a little within you. There is a Helen within you that you have to connect with for you to know who you are. If you never take time to pause, if you never take time to pause and ask yourself this question, who am I? You will never get to reach uh, the inner you. The real you is inside of you. And uh, you need to unearth the real you. You need to discover the authentic self, not the one that we see, the authentic self that is within you. The authentic self is full of dreams. The authentic self is positive. The authentic self knows exactly where they want to go. So it's very, very important as you create a powerful you to find time and be quiet and be in a place where there are no distractions at all. And just relax. Relax and listen to the inner voice, the authentic you, and connect. You can do that every morning. Take, take 10 minutes to meditate and connect to the real you and check what the real you is crying for. Maybe right now the real you is trapped within you, crying out to be released. The real you always wants to be better. The real you always wants to achieve more. The real you wants to be fulfilled. Now, if you can take your time to connect to the authentic self, you will be able to create a powerful you. In that module, we are given three questions by Matt Morris that help you. I'm sure you have done it. Uh, in the interest of time, I'm not going to go through them. Uh, that you can use to help yourself uh, create a powerful you. I have added some. Uh, one, you have to over and above the questions that we have that help you unleash the potential in you, that help you unleash the inner self, uh, is you have to know your natural talents. Each and every one of us is gifted. Now you have to know your natural talents. What is it that you can do or that you do without struggling? What is it that you can teach others without struggling? What is it that people can learn from you? What is your greatest talent? What is it that you hope to achieve or accomplish during your life? The things that you are attracted to are the things that hit your core being. And uh, your legacy like in the three questions that we have, what legacy would you like to leave behind one day when you exit this world? Now, clarity on these, clarity on strengths, clarity on abilities, clarity on passions. One of the facilitators will help us and core values and so forth in our next module. Clarity on strength, abilities, Passions, capabilities, and anything that inspires you, help you to unleash the authentic you, the you that is within. So like I said, one, you have to find time to meditate. Maybe 
early in the morning, every day early in the morning when no one uh, is awake or very late at night, listen to yourself, listen to yourself, listen to what the authentic you wants and take notes. And then, like I said, clarity on your strengths, abilities, passions, capabilities, and so forth, help us bring the best in you. Personal development. Personal development is at the core of uh, your life. Should be at the core of your life if you want to go somewhere. Never, ever, never, ever miss trainings. Make sure that you invest on your personal development if you want to be the millionaire that you are created to be. Remember, if your definition of self doesn't scare you, it is not good enough. I'm going to repeat it again. If your definition of self doesn't scare you, then it is not good enough. Before I close, um, I'm going to allow two or three participants again in light of what we have shared today. I want you to define yourself. Listen to, 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 to this. Just listen to this carefully. When you define yourself, I want you to strip yourself of all the titles and name tags that are on you. Don't tell me you are an engineer, okay? Don't tell me that you are an S because you can lose that title any day. I was telling you earlier that uh, I'm going through a divorce. From, from, from the age of 23 up to, up, to, up to today, I was called a missus. But very soon, this title will be taken away from me. I'll not be a missus. You can be a teacher today and lose your license. Now, do you, do you want to tell me that when you lose that title, you lose to be yourself? No. That is why I want you to, when you define yourself, I want you to strip yourself of all the titles, strip yourself of all the name tags, okay? And tell me who you are, who you are. Tell me the authentic, I want to know the authentic you. Def, define, define yourself using the authentic you, not the you that we see outside. I'm going to allow one or two people, one or two people to give up that definition of self with no social titles, with no name tags. We want to know who you are. Iris, Iris. I have a question. Yeah. Uh, my can, can we can we can we can we have it at the end? No, I, I I wanted it to help me on on answering or understanding the contributions that will come on the definition because you are saying that if a your definition of yourself does not scare you, then mm -hmm. it's not good enough. Can mm. you please explain, explain that? Explain what you mean by that. What do you mean that it should scare me? Okay. Do you mean I should define myself uh, that I'm just some poor church mouse, then it scares me, <laughs> or I say no. I am a millionaire, then it scares me? I, I, I didn't understand. I, I, I want you to define me. I want, to, I want you to define yourself with a with where you are going. Oh, okay. I want to, All right. uh, where you, your dreams. I want you to, to define yourself with, I, I, I told you about your strength, uh, capabilities and everything. I want you okay. to, see, when you define yourself, I want you to see yourself 10 years from now, 20 oh, okay. years from now, and that dream should be big enough to scare you. Thank if, you, thank you. If, if you define yourself as a three-star rep, if you see yourself as a three-star rep now, then I don't think that that can scare you. But if you see yourself as an IMD, you know, ah, if you see okay. yourself as a quadruple IMD, something that will shake you, scare you, I mean shake, a very big dream that will, that will shake you. 
Thank you. you. Understood. Thank you. Okay. Oh, are you going to define yourself, Iris? Hello, Iris. Okay. No. No, no, I think I, I need to give others an opportunity. Okay. Uh, I wanted to understand. Okay. Let me give others an opportunity. Okay. Can we have one or two people? Remember you did this yesterday, so that's why I'm asking you to define yourself. One or two people. No one wants to. You guys are not good students. I can come in. <laughs> Ma? I say Hello? if there is if there is no volunteer, I can come in. Okay, do that, my dear. Thank you. Um, when I defined myself yesterday, after mm -hmm. listening to module two, I said, well, I I I, I think I quoted it. Someone no, or a recent someone who said that. And I, I, I identified myself with that. I said, I'm an individual person who is of significant importance. Mm -hmm. And I am that girl to whom my community looks up to. Wow. Mm. That's how I defined myself. Okay. Wow. That's powerful. Thank you, Iris. Another one. Okay, if there's no one, I'm going to give you yet another question, the last question. Uh, in the light of what we have shared today, in the light of what we have shared today, how do you think the way you've been defining yourself or how do you think you, you, has negatively the way you viewed yourself, how do you think the way you viewed yourself has negatively or positively in, uh, impacted uh, your world venture business? And from where you are standing now, how do you intend to build your business? How do you think you uh, affected positively or negatively affected your business because it is your business and from the light of what we have uh, shared today, where do you, uh, where, what do you, from where we stand now, how do you intend to build your business? I see Amy's hand is up. Yes, Amy. Amy? Yes, yes. Selector, thank you so much. Um, I'm glad that I am in this school. Can you hear me? Mm. Hello? I can, can hear, hear you, me? my dear. Okay, I'm glad I'm I can hear you. Participating. I'm glad I'm participating here. You know, I, I think I'm so emotional that I let the other people's um, behavior or responsibility affect me so much that when I get a no, it drags me back. Mm. But with, with these lectures of yesterday and today, I have realized what my responsibilities are and to focus on that, which are my responsibilities, my behavior, my beliefs, my mistakes, and do not let the ones of the other mm. people affect me. So I think this is really mm. good and it will help me yeah. create a powerful me. Thank you. Mm. Mm. You are welcome. Hey. Um, who else? Who else wants to conclude? Who else? Who else? Who else? Hello. Do we have people on call this morning? Hello. How are Hello. you? I'm fine. I'm fine. My name is Felicitas Morashiki. I'm Felicitas. so glad that I'm actually on this uh, Hello. program. It has come at the right time because uh, I've been in this business for some time, but I haven't been growing. I think the reason is because of how I was, um, I didn't believe in myself fully that I'll be able to get some people on the team. So going forward, I think I just have to focus on where I want to be, regardless of the responses that I get to from people, how they, they view the business on my behalf, but I have to see the bigger picture, knowing where I'm going, that shouldn't stop me from getting where I'm going. Oh, wow. Thank you, Philly. Thank you. The last one. Hi. The last Hi, one. Helen. 
it's Helen okay. here. I want to say, yeah, I want to say, actually, I have, um, I have thought of myself as somebody who is not able to convince people to get into mm. my business. You know mm. that I have enrolled, like, I think it was June last year. Mm. And I haven't, I haven't uttered, you know, a word to people to convince me, you know, mm. because I had, I had this fear in myself that I'm not um, eloquent enough to convince people into my business. And what I've been doing is just, just to pay the, 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 four, the 400 and something that I've been paying just monthly. And mm. one thing that hit me to the core is that, that motivation that you gave us to say we should not miss training because training that's where you are strengthened that's where you are taught the right words the right you know formula to approach mm. people so i think um from now onwards i'll you know beat myself to try and attend a, one of the first um, workshops or training and just promise myself not to miss any training again so wow. that I can um, have a better version at every level like you have just uh, convinced us. And I'm very happy for you to have brought Tami as an example and his um, inspiring nuggets. I think mm. I got you well. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, before I, I hand over to Coach Henry, thank you very much uh, for participating. Thank you very much uh, for, I learned a lot from you this morning. And I'm going to leave you with this. Uh, I said personal development should be at the core of your business. Personal development is very, very important if you want to build a powerful you. If you want to achieve your dreams, you cannot reach where you want to go without personal development. Personal development helps you create a powerful you. So whenever, whenever the company gives us an opportunity to personally develop uh, ourselves, make sure that uh, you invest in that. Thank you very much, uh, everyone. Thank you very much, Coach Henry. Thank you, Coach. So, uh, thank you so much, uh, Keleto, for this. Uh, we truly, truly ap appreciate you and um, uh, <clears throat> for everything that you have shared and uh, covered as well. And also being vulnerable, sharing your story. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's not easy sharing some of the stories and making your situation a message uh, to other people as well. I think that people are facing different challenges in life. It might not necessarily be the same challenge you were, you're going through, but the people are facing challenges in life and they have to make decisions to overcome these uh, uh, challenges. So in life, we are faced with so many different decisions that we do have uh, to make. So guys, I want you to understand that in this business, you, yourself, you are the only variable that you are. So everything is the same for all of us in, in, in this business. We all have the same compensation plan. We all have the same product. We all have access to the same people, same population. The only variable is you. So you are, the, you are your, the own worst enemy to yourself. So now if you become the better person, that means you would have chances of winning because people will want to follow strength. People want to follow good mm. leaders. So if you want to recruit leaders in your business, you need to become a leader yourself and you need to work more on yourself and develop yourself to the next uh, level. So you become a better version. Don't wish that there are no problems, but wish that you are better and bigger than the problems that you do um, uh, face. So I just want to throw a challenge. I, I heard uh, Iris saying, hey, you know what? I want to give others a chance. So you're feeling like you're dominating. You know what? This is how this world is like. Those, there are some people who are there to just watch others win. Let them watch. And there are people who just see things happen. And there are people who don't even know what happened to them. So let them be. And there are some people who make things happen. So be the person who's going to make things happen in your life. 
So don't be apologetic about others. If you're not careful, you end up being like them because you end up conforming to what others are doing and yet you no longer be yourself. So be yourself. Let them watch you go ahead. You might actually actually motivate them to take action. So don't be afraid to succeed. Don't be afraid to dominate and don't be apologetic as long as you're doing the right things uh, with the right values. So you need to live as a leader. You need to have your values in check and your values in line. So as long as you're doing the right things, as long as you're doing the things in the right, within the right uh, values, don't be, I give you permission to succeed more than anybody else. Even say, pass me, say, pass all the leaders in this. That's the beauty about our business. Everyone, you've got permission. <laughs> you've got permission to win and succeed above everybody. Thank so, you for that. Don't be apologetic. Eh? <laughs> so, so let them watch you because this is a participation exercise. So the more you, you, you start to think and being afraid to expose yourself, you know what? The more you expose yourself, you're actually exposing your weaknesses. You're actually realizing I need to work in this area of my life. That's all we're doing when we want to, to participate. So participate. Because if you do not participate, you will never know your mistakes. So it's more like you keep on hiding the things that you need to work on. Expose yourself so that the next time you come here, you're a completely different person. So, so now... You want to still remain in your comfort zone. There's no growth in a comfort zone. And this group, actually, it's a friendly group. We're not here to laugh at anybody's situation. And actually, you need to dream uh, bigger. When, uh, when I was defining myself about five years when I was writing this, when I'm saying, I'm a millionaire, you know what? That was very difficult for me to even say. I didn't, I was broke. I didn't have any money. And I'm calling myself, hey, I'm a millionaire. That's the lie. You can lie to yourself and still, you know, doubt it. But I'm just saying it to myself. I'm not saying it to anybody else, but I was not even comfortable. So I know what some of you are going through. You might not be comfortable to do it. Even when I got this um, uh, 100K K, K ring, you know, I had the 100K ring, but now I didn't have the money in the bank account. I was broke. So, but now I was... My wife was not even comfortable to wear the ring, saying, hey, you know what? People are saying, you guys are 100K ring earners, you're a million rand, what, 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 earners when you give it money, but I don't have the money. So, so you go through all these challenges. So this is where now you have to define yourself like what uh, Kelet was saying. Say something that you really want to be, and the more you program yourself, the more you're going to manifest first in it, the more you start focusing on what you really want. So when you program yourself, saying yourself, I'm a millionaire, you're telling and aligning your subconscious mind to be able to align you when you take actions. It's more like, um, I know ladies, many of you relate to this. When you go out and buy an outfit, most of the time, I know ladies want to be the only ones wearing a particular dress or a particular shoe or a particular whatever hairstyle. 99% of the time, when you do it, you think I'm the only one. The whole world is going to see me with this outfit. But the moment you buy it, you start noticing it all over. Almost everybody in your community has that outfit. Or almost uh, everybody has got the same car as you or the car that you just bought. There are so many cars like that on the road. Why is it that you're not noticing it? Because you put it in your mind. Now you can visualize it. Now because it's in your mind. So when you say and define yourself, you're putting yourself, you're defining the person whom you want to be in your mind. So when you now move and walk around, you start seeing the opportunities that are aligned to the person that you want to become. You start noticing all those things that will help you and aid you to become uh, the person who you are. Because it's in your mind. Your mind is working, whatever. You, when, even if you think your mind is not working, it's working. Your subconscious is working all the time. Just like right now, you walk automatically. You no longer think about taking the next step. You've programmed mm. your mind how to walk. So don't think your mind is not working when you're walking. You might not be conscious of it yourself, but your subconscious mind is in charge of what's happening to you. So you need to be careful how you program yourself and what you do as well. So guys, you really need to redefine yourself. So don't make your past. Your past have got nothing to do with your future. 
So look at what was uh, like uh, Tammy when he was in, in uh, 20 years back and what he is now. So don't let your past, your past with nothing to do with whom you're, you wanna be. Don't dream small, think big. Aim higher and if you miss, it's better to miss a bigger target than to hit a smaller target. So many people, we hit the smaller targets that we set for ourselves that, that were comfortable. And when you achieve it, you are still frustrated about it because you did not dream bigger. I know many people, most of us here, we've set goals, but you have achieved those goals, but you are not happy with the results. It's because we did not dream big and we did not truly set the results that we want. We set the results that we think we can achieve but we do not set the results that we want to achieve. So we are setting the goals that we believe, oh, I think I can achieve this, but that's not truly what you really want. So dream big. This is what Kellis was saying. Dream big, something that really scares you, something that you, you think, hey, will I really, really achieve this? Will I really, really become this person? Become that particular person and uh, define yourself to be that person so that when you achieve it, you are happy about it. Most of us have achieved things that we are not happy about because we are setting, we are not defining ourselves the right way. So define yourself, become that powerful you. And uh, if something has, somebody has achieved it, why are you not, are you afraid to be quadruple IMD? I want to beat quadruple IMD. Somebody has achieved quadruple IMD. That means it's possible for anybody to achieve it because Sashin has achieved it. Uh, Jeff uh, has achieved it. There are other guys who have achieved it. So you can also achieve it because we also have improved it because we already have somebody in our team, somebody who's there available to coach us who has already achieved, who has given a blueprint to follow, to say, just follow this, you will definitely achieve it. So don't limit yourselves and uh, you can uh, dream and you can become a bigger person than this. So um, I know the next exercise is gonna help you as well to create uh, what we call a vision board. So I want you guys to start dreaming uh, big. I just wanna share you quickly some of the vision boards, um, some of the members, when you did, I uh, uh, hope I, I still have them here. Where the no, the next session is not vision board. Sorry? I think the next session is creating your core values. Yes, that, that's, that's okay. correct. So I'm, I'm just saying I want you guys to align you guys so that you can see what others were actually um, are dreaming and thinking about. This is going to be covered uh, in the next session that is going to be coming uh, uh, tomorrow. And um, sorry, I messed up here. It's going to be covered in the session that's coming up um, uh, tomorrow. So I want you guys to prepare yourself to, to start dreaming uh, bigger and start thinking uh, bigger. Prepare yourself uh, for this. Um, let me just pick, uh, let me just see whom I can. Uh... So, 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 so this is somebody else who went and did have vision board created, putting up uh, of uh, defining themselves of what they really wanna be and uh, so I want you guys to think and dream big about yourself. Think and dream big about uh, yourself. So I just want to end up with this uh, little story for you today. Uh, I don't know if you guys know, have you seen elephants um, that are used in a circus? I think you've seen all those elephants. How I many of you have been to a circus or have seen an elephant? Just want you to... If you have seen an, a circus, I mean, if you've been to a circus and you've seen an elephant, I just want you to raise those elephants that have been tamed and trained. Just raise up your hand. I just want to see if most of you guys have seen or attended the circus and seen how those uh, elephants are. So, okay, brilliant. So quite a few guys have seen. So if you see those elephants, they are so powerful as an animal. They are very powerful. But at a young age, they tie the elephants to very strong ropes around the snake. So each time it tries to pull it, can't pull it, pulls left, right, center, it fails to pull it. Now it gets conditioned to say, hey, 
if I pull anything around my neck, I won't be able to, to move it. So it becomes conditioned. They condition the elephant to believe that. So now when the circus, when the elephant is in the circus, they tie a small rope, they tie it even to a chair, that elephant will not move. Because it's now conditioned. If I'm tied around my neck, they even put the small thing to you. But the elephant still has got enough power to bring down the whole circus. It's got the power within itself to bring down the whole circus uh, building or tent or whatever. But because it has been conditioned to say, hey, if I'm tied around my neck and I can't pull, I can't move, I can't do anything. This is what has happened to most of us. We have been conditioned to so many things in our lives. And now we don't realize how much power we have within ourselves. So you need to go back and really look at yourself and realize that power. I want to tell you, you still have got that power to change your life. You still have that power to achieve what you really want in life. You still have got that power to do everything. That power is with, still within you. You just need to know that you still have it and you just need to unleash that power that you do have. So do not let small things tie you around, you tie down around your neck and you start believing that you are this useless person. Don't allow your bank balance right now to determine you where you're going. You can change everything. You've got the power to change. You've got the power to change everything that's happening around you. So do not allow your situation that you have right now to tie you down to that chair and you feel useless and you feel powerless. I'm telling you right now, you've got the power to rip everything down apart. You've got the power to restart your life. You've got the power to do whatever you want. You've got the power to become the person that you define yourself to be. Thank you so much, guys. Let's have fun. Guys, participate in the... In the, in the group, share what you have learned today, what's something that, just put in something in writing. So there's power when you write something down. So what you're happening is when you're doing that, you're making your mind and your body communicate. So when you write something down, there's power in it as well. It makes you internalize certain things. So you're, you're activating certain parts of your brain to work, to function, to be more creative. So just believe in the whole system that when you write things down, there are so many things that you're activating in your body that helps you to think in a different way as well. So participate, put something in writing. Because I know before you put something in writing into the group, you're thinking. So that's the process we want to activate in you as well. So if you don't participate, you don't engage yourself, you don't think. So participate. I'll encourage everyone to post something in the group today to say, hey, this was my minute or one takeaway uh, from this particular uh, group. Uh, Zig, I see you've got your hand up. Do you want to say something? Uh, Ziggy, I see you put up your hand. Do you want to say something before we close the meeting? No, no, no. No, no, no. That was for the elephant. I've seen oh. an elephant in the <laughs> oh, that's fine. Okay, brilliant. Okay, cool. Super. Thank you so much, uh, guys, uh, for being on this call. If there's anybody wants to say something or got a question that you want to ask right now, I'm just going to give you um, uh, the last option and the last opportunity to, to ask your question. If you've got a question or anything that you want clarity on. Right. So, guys, I've given you a look ahead of what's coming up uh, tomorrow. We really, really need to... You're going to... Uh, Sorry, coach. Can I just say something? <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, the, the tomorrow's class is uh, the core values, not the vision board, because that is after the core values. So it, <laughs> tomorrow is uh, to do your core values. After that, then the vision board. Yeah, so, that's fine. Okay, so because I, I was getting a bit uh, nervous there. We are not the vision board for tomorrow. Okay. The other thing I just want to add is, guys, just like coach actually it's gonna be that, that one's that one. sorry just like coach said the